you who we're diving deeper into some of the content that I spoke, Christy and I spoke about this last Sunday. We brought up the Enneagram 3 and we brought up a character named Jacob. Jacob is known as the deceiver. <laughs> and the Enneagram 3, oh, man, you are wired. Man, I believe to work extremely hard and to do whatever it takes uh, to achieve that mountaintop experience. Uh, and you are just beautifully uh, written with, with so much ambition. Uh, but I also believe that ambition... Uh, could have been placed uh, in your heart, in your mind, uh, by your childhood. Let's read in uh, the scripture. Let's lean into Genesis uh, 27. We find uh, that Isaac, his eyes are growing dim, it says. And what he ends up doing is he calls Jacob's twin brother Esau in, and says, my son, uh, go and go kill something out in the wilderness and prepare it for me the way I like it, and then I will bless you. Did you hear that message? Did you hear that message to a son? Go and do something, and then I will bless you. Interesting enough, Rebecca, who is Isaac's wife, who is the mother of Esau and Jacob, she hears this message and she leans into her favored son, Jacob, and says, I have a plan. I want you to receive the blessing. And so as your older brother Esau goes out into the wilderness and, and tries to kill game, right? I want for you to go into your father who can't see anymore. And I want you to put uh, this outfit on, uh, this fur on, because I guess Esau was really hairy. <laughs> And, and in essence, steal that blessing. So listen to this. It says, listen, I heard your father telling Esau, your brother, bring me game and make it tasty so I can eat it. Then I will give you my blessing in the presence of the Lord before my death. Now pay attention to me, my son. Do what I tell you. Go to the flock and bring me back two choice kids, two choice animals. I will make it tasty for your father the way he likes it. And you will bring it to your father to eat so then he will give you his blessing to you before his death now listen to me enneagram threes i believe that the way that you respond and the way that you try to survive in this world has a lot to do with a message from your parents did you hear that Isaac is telling Esau, his son, go and do this and then I will bless. And then Rebekah says to her favored son, Jacob, go and do this and you will be blessed. And oh, by the way, a lot of what you're going to do is going to have a lot to do with deception. And so guess what Jacob does? He does it. He does it. He goes in to steal the blessing from his older brother, received from Isaac. And because he deceives his father, yes, he receives that blessing, but then he loses the place. He loses his place in the family. And I believe the message that the Enneagram 3 needs to hear is this. It doesn't matter what you do, you are blessed. Did you hear that? Doesn't matter what you do, it doesn't matter how much you try to turn something or create this facade or put this, this fur on to be someone else, 
you are blessed, that God wants to bless you. You don't have to do anything more. You don't have to do anything less. God wants to bless you today. So please lay aside the deception and lean into the promise that God wants to give you today. And this promise sounds like this. You are good enough. You are my son and you are my daughter. I am well.